Okay guys, today we're going to do lesson 18, page 128. Okay, and we're gonna do from the same stories that we did yesterday, the mice and beans and happy birthday surprise. Okay, so remember, we need to turn our listening ears on. Our mouths are quiet and our eyes are focused. Okay, we're listening so we can answer our questions at the end. Okay, so Mr. Gilbert's gonna read mice and beans first. Pages 26 to 29, okay? After everyone had gone, Rosa Maria tidied her kitchen and thought, con <clears throat> thought about the fiesta. She pictured the happy look on little Catalina's face when the candy spilled from the piñata, but Rosa Maria still couldn't remember when she had filled it. No importa, she said. It was a wonderful day. But as Rosa Maria swept out the cupboard, she discovered the telltale signs of mice. Raton, she cried, where are my mouse traps? I will set them all. She inched to the floor, and when she did, something caught her eye. She looked closer. Maybe I didn't fill the pinata, she thought. Was it possible, she asked, shaking her head. Could I have had help? Rosa Maria looked at the leftovers, too much for one person. And what, and what was it her mother had always said? When there's room in the heart, there's room in the house, even for a mouse. Imagine that, she said. I remembered the words, wrong all these years. Besides, how many could there be? Two? Four? No, Importa, she said. It doesn't matter. If a few helpful mice lived here too, then she turned off the light and went to bed. And she never set another mouse trap again. Okay, so did the mice help her fill the pinata? Because Rosa Maria said she didn't fill it. So they must have helped her fill the pinata. Okay. So did they? Did the mice help her fill the pinata? Yes, yes they did. I think we remember that doing that last week. Okay. And in the happy birthday surprise, okay. She was working on her party, okay. For Daisy, she was cleaning her house Baking a cake. Okay. And all of a sudden, Abel kept trying. His face got hot. His whiskers twitched. Hello, is anyone home? Abel's friend Chester had arrived. What are you doing here so early? Asked Abel. I came to help you get ready. Abel asked, what makes you think I need help? Asked Abel. He felt a little embarrassed that he was so far behind. Chester looked around. The house was still a mess. Just a wild guess, he said. What's that burning smell? Oh no, cried Abel. He rushed in the kitchen. Smoke was pouring from the oven. This is terrible. The cake is ruined. Don't worry, said Chester. We still have time to make another. Why didn't you ask me for help earlier? I thought if I, I thought I could do everything myself. Well, said Chester, I hope you know better now. Abel added, nodded, from now on, I always ask for help when I need it. Surprise birthdays are a lot of work, said Chester. Abel smiled, and that was a real surprise for me. Okay, so Chester came to help Abel, even though Abel didn't, didn't ask for help. But Abel learned that he will always ask for help from when he needs it from now on, okay? So, our question, how are Rosa, Maria, and Abel different? Write R for Rosa, write A for Abel, just like we did yesterday, okay? Who finds out that mice helped her? Rosa or Abel? Who helped fill her pinata? 
The mice, right? And the mice helped who? Rosa, good. So we need to put a R, okay? And then that means Abel learns to ask for help, okay? How are Rosa Maria and Abel similar? What do they both learn about getting help? Is it okay for sometimes for someone to help you with something? Yes, even Mr. Gilbert needs help from time to time with things. And I'm sure that all of you guys need help too. So both Rosa and Abel learn that others can help them, okay? They both learn that Others can help them. Good. They both learn that others can help them. And it is okay for people to, for you to let people help you. Okay? So, who helped Rosa? The mice. Good. And who helped Abel? Chester. Good. And Abel learns to ask for help. Rosa finds out that mice helped her. They both learn that others can help, okay? That is our lesson for today. Good job, guys. I want you to thank you for listening and doing such a great job and answering our questions. Good job today.